Time is not what it seems. As you view this video, you inhabit two time dimensions. One is the time your clock shows, but the other holds the essence of true potential. Where wonders unfold, where Earth discovers the secrets to enduring harmony and transformation. The notion of living in the present moment may sound cliched due to its frequent mention. Yet, this isn't just a tired self-help slogan. It's a portal to a realm of awareness that goes beyond our conventional understanding of time. Today, we delve into what Earth calls vertical time, a profound confluence where eternity and the present collide, offering a chance to radically alter how you perceive life. Have you ever felt how time accelerates as you age? Days and months meld into a continuous whirl of tasks and deadlines. This perpetual rush, described by Earth as horizontal time, is a linear march from past to future that buries us under relentless stress. Take a look around. People are more overwhelmed, anxious, and detached than ever, despite an abundance of gadgets meant to simplify life. Ironically, with all these tools, we seem to have less time. We're perpetually on the move, but to what end? The issue isn't a shortage of time, it's that we're embedded in the wrong time dimension. We strive for peace and fulfillment by better managing our schedules when we should be tapping into vertical time, the eternal now. Understanding vertical time involves visualizing time as a cross. Imagine horizontal time running left to right, tracking your daily activities and future plans. Now, picture vertical time as a perpendicular line that cuts through the horizontal, representing moments of profound presence and clarity that elevate our experience beyond the mundane. Accessing this vertical dimension could be the key to transcending the usual hustle and finding a richer, more connected existence. By embracing this perspective, we can begin to see that each moment holds infinite possibilities and the rush of time becomes a dance rather than a dash, imbuing our lives with a sense of depth and purpose. And if you are resonating with this video, hit the subscribe button. In the concept Earth describes, the horizontal line symbolizes the flow of time from the past, through the present, to the future. On the other hand, the vertical line dives into the depth of the current moment. This vertical dimension is what Earth refers to as the gateway to the unmanifested, a timeless state of being. When we talk about vertical time, we're not delving into a complex philosophical idea. It's an actual aspect of consciousness you might have encountered without even realizing it. Consider those instances when time seemed to pause. The awe-inspiring sunset. The moment your child was born. Or when a deep realization hit you during meditation or while praying. When you lose yourself in artwork or feel the peace of nature. These aren't merely pleasant moments. They are instances where you momentarily stepped out of the ongoing flow of chronological time and touched the profound depth of the present. This vertical time isn't just a mystical idea, but is also supported by modern science. Einstein introduced us to the relativity of time, suggesting it's not a fixed entity. Quantum physics goes further, showing that at the tiniest scales, time behaves differently than in our everyday life. At the quantum level, time as we usually understand it begins to dissolve. These scientific insights complement Earth's teachings on vertical time, suggesting that like quantum particles existing in multiple states at once, our consciousness too can navigate both horizontal and vertical time. The trick lies in learning to shift our focus intentionally. However, to truly engage with vertical time, we must first escape the confines of psychological time. Psychological time often traps us in a cycle of regrets about the past or worries about the future, stealing the joy of the present.
By freeing ourselves from these mental barriers, we can begin to explore the depth of each moment more fully. This doesn't require any special equipment or conditions, just a willingness to look at the world and ourselves differently. By fostering an awareness of the present, we can transform ordinary experiences into profound insights, opening doors to new dimensions of peace and fulfillment. As we learn to inhabit vertical time more frequently, we'll find that our perception of life's pace changes. The frantic rush that characterizes much of modern life can give way to a richer, more contemplative experience where each moment is valued. This shift in awareness can lead to a greater appreciation for life's simple pleasures and a deeper connection with others and the world around us. In embracing this new way of experiencing time, we could also foster a more compassionate society. When we operate from a place of depth, we naturally become more empathetic and understanding. This could lead to stronger, more supportive communities where individuals are recognized not just for what they do, but for who they are. Vertical time offers us a chance to rebuild the foundation of our interactions on mindfulness and respect, potentially reshaping society in profound ways. To grasp how we've become trapped in psychological time, consider how the mind continuously toggles between past and future. This habit crafts what Earth terms a false self that lives merely in thoughts. This false self, or ego, can't exist in vertical time, because vertical time is the essence of pure presence, pure awareness. The ego relies on past memories to shape identity and future ambitions for fulfillment, making the state of true presence unsettling for many, as it undermines the ego's very foundation. Vertical time, fortunately, is always accessible. It isn't something we need to fabricate or attain. It exists inherently when we let go of psychological time. Engaging with vertical time involves simple practices. First, body awareness. Since the body exists only in the present, focusing fully on bodily sensations, feeling the energy in your hands, feet, and entire body can anchor you in the now. Second, sense perception. Actively observing, hearing, and feeling your environment without labeling allows you to experience the world in vertical time. Notice how a tree sways in the breeze. Listen to surrounding sounds as if for the first time, or feel the texture of an object with fresh awareness. Third, space consciousness involves noticing the space around and between objects, a practice that enhances presence because, like consciousness, space is timeless. Fourth, breath awareness, where focusing on your breath, a function that occurs only in the present, helps align with vertical time. These practices don't just alter perceptions of time, they transform how we experience life. By integrating these techniques, we begin to unlock the power of vertical time, leading to profound changes in our daily experience and overall well-being. We become more attuned to the nuances of the present, less driven by the compulsions of the ego, and more capable of experiencing joy and fulfillment in the here and now. This shift can significantly reduce stress and increase our capacity for compassion and empathy, improving our relationships and overall quality of life. When you learn to regularly engage with vertical time, significant transformations begin to manifest. Firstly, you experience liberation from suffering. Much of human suffering, regrets about the past, fears for the future, is rooted in psychological time. In vertical time, you are immersed in the now, which is always manageable. Secondly, there is enhanced creativity. True creativity springs from this realm, tapping into the universe's boundless creative potential when you access vertical time. Thirdly, your relationships improve dramatically. Being fully present with others in vertical time 
fosters deeper connections as your undivided attention enriches interactions. Fourthly, life starts to flow more naturally. Without struggling against reality, you align with life's inherent intelligence, easing daily challenges. However, embracing vertical time comes with its own challenges and solutions. One common hurdle is the mind's resistance. The mind may resist shifting away from its dominance, fearing loss of control. Recognize this resistance as a normal reaction, indicating you're on the right path. The solution isn't to combat this resistance, but to observe it with a friendly curiosity, which in itself is an act of being present. Another issue is the productivity paradox. You might fear that living in vertical time could decrease your productivity. On the contrary, vertical time can enhance your efficiency because it allows you to focus fully on the task at hand, free from the distractions of psychological time. Furthermore, societal conditioning can make it hard to maintain awareness of vertical time, as our world revolves around horizontal time. The solution is to start with small, manageable steps. Integrate moments of vertical time into your daily routine, perhaps by taking short breaks to practice mindfulness or body awareness exercises. Gradually, these moments can extend and become a natural part of your life. As you incorporate these practices, you'll find that staying connected to vertical time becomes more intuitive. Over time, these moments can expand, profoundly affecting how you interact with the world. The shift towards vertical time doesn't just alter your perception of time. It enhances the quality of every aspect of your life, making each day more vibrant and fulfilling. This deeper engagement with the present moment can lead to a more peaceful existence marked by increased awareness, creativity, and joy. Integrating vertical time into your everyday life can be transformative, offering a way to experience the world with greater depth and presence. Start each day with a morning practice of five to 10 minutes dedicated to pure presence, focusing fully on the sensations of your body, your breath, and the space around you. This not only sets the tone for the day, but also anchors you in the present moment. Throughout the day, use transitions such as stopping at traffic lights, waiting in line, or before meals to remind yourself to shift into vertical time. These brief moments can serve as cues to return to the present, helping you cultivate mindfulness. To further reinforce your connection to the now, spend regular time in nature. The natural world, with its inherent beauty and rhythm, provides a powerful anchor for awareness in vertical time. Whether you're taking a walk in the park or simply sitting under a tree, let nature guide you back to the present moment. Additionally, engage in body-based activities that encourage presence, such as yoga, tai chi, mindful walking, or even simple stretching. These practices help synchronize your mind and body in the present, enhancing your ability to access vertical time and deeply enrich your daily experiences. Eckhart Tolle's teachings remind us that vertical time is not merely a spiritual concept, it is the essence of our true nature. When you engage with vertical time, you connect with what various traditions and sciences describe as the divine, the unified field, or pure awareness. Tola emphasizes that time is illusory. What is truly precious is the now, the only moment out of time, and the most valuable aspect of existence. By focusing less on the past and future, and more on the present, you unlock the potential for personal transformation. All the peace, power, and possibilities you seek are found within the depth of now. The future you envision, the healing you need, and the joy you desire are accessible only through the vertical dimension of time. Vertical time offers a revolutionary approach to life that transcends the limitations of chronological time and enhances 
our daily experiences. By understanding and accessing vertical time, we free ourselves from psychological suffering, tap into deeper creativity, improve our relationships, and align with life's natural flow. The journey into vertical time is about enriching our experience of reality, finding a sacred balance between doing and being, and between horizontal and vertical time. As Tola teaches, the now is not just what happens, it's the space in which everything happens. By consciously accessing this space, we open ourselves to the transformative power of vertical time. If you're interested in exploring this journey further, consider subscribing to continue this exploration of consciousness. Remember, vertical time is always accessible, right here, right now. Join us in this ongoing journey to live more fully in the present moment. If this exploration of vertical time resonates with you, don't hesitate to subscribe and join our community of like-minded individuals. Together, we'll continue delving deeper into the power of the present moment, enhancing our lives and transforming our understanding of time itself. Subscribe now to stay connected and receive updates on our latest insights and discoveries.